what you want to watch? Megan Brooke doesn't tune in. She logs on, streaming her shows through her computer straight to her TV. One of the growing trend of so-called cord cutters. We were spending money on a time and service that we weren't actually using. She's not missing it. I did enjoy certain shows and I can still watch them. I can still stream them. According to national ratings, Canadians are watching about 27 hours of TV a week. 69% of them still through cable or satellite, but that market share is declining. Losing out in younger demographics to streaming services like Netflix and its new Canadian competitors. So, is cable dying? There's no fear really that um, TV will die. It might, the, the way of viewing will change. Kuhn Reynard is media director in an ad firm which isn't bailing on cable, yet, saying it still has advantages. There's still value in cable. Um, things we're looking more into is uh, live TV, local news, those are the contents, sports, um, events that are live. But even some of that content is moving beyond cable. Apple is our exclusive partner. Last year, 1.4 million Americans cut the cord. Apple TV will soon offer HBO in the U.S. For now, Canadians are locked out of that, as they are other services like Hulu, because in Canada, cable companies own the rights to that content. There are ways around that. Nearly one-third of Canadian Netflix subscribers get it through the U.S. Saying look at genres. A digital antenna will get you Canadian channels free over the air in HD. If you live close to the border, some American ones too. That's where Canadian-based Tableau, which is marketing an over-the-air DVR, sees the future. People are now you know, realizing that I can get great TV without cable, and I can get a great experience, and I can get it on the device, the TV or the tablet I want. Megan wouldn't go back, not even for pick and pay. Great option for a lot of people, for us, no. Not with her family's favorite shows, just a click away. Cameron McIntosh, CBC News, Winnipeg.